Okay, I quickly wanted to show you how you edit a gallery. This is just a regular gallery, not one of the pro galleries. Uh, when you click on it, you're going to click on this. It selects the whole gallery. The next thing you want to do is click on Change Images. Uh, here it will show you all the images that are in the current gallery. You can delete any of these by clicking on this little trash can. This will remove it only from the gallery, not from your whole media library, so don't worry that it, it'll delete it from the whole system. It just takes it out of this specific gallery on this page. Uh, if you want to reorder these, very, it's very simple. You just click on something and then you hold it and drag it into the new location. So on any of these, I want to click and hold, drag it up to where I want it to be. Um, and then let go of the mouse. So you click and hold on your mouse, drag it, and then let go on your mouse. Um, if uh, for some reason that doesn't work, sometimes when I add a whole bunch of images or I'm deleting or adding a lot of images, it gets a little hung up, the reordering process. So what I'll do is I'll get done adding and, and at least deleting and adding images. I'll hit done. And then I will do the same thing, click on it and click on change images again. This sometimes helps the system kind of re-figure out what order you have with all the new images or deleted images that you had just done. And like I said, once in a while, I find that it actually doesn't do any reordering and I get frustrated. I, I drag it over and nothing happens. Um, so I just wanted to make sure, you know, if, if you run into that, simply just click on done and then reopen this change images uh, panel and it should then work very easily. So, uh, that's about it. If you want to put in your titles, your descriptions, those are shown here to the right on every one that you click. Um, and that's about it. So you click on add images here to, to add new images to it. Uh, this takes from your main library of images of everything you've uploaded in the past. Um, and you can also adjust a couple things here with uh, some of the settings with adding new images. If you want to just add them at the start of the gallery or at the end of the gallery or after the selected image. So that's good to use if you're um, adding a whole bunch of images and you want to make sure that they go into the order you want them. Um, and then also you can remove the titles or use the current titles. The current titles is going to pull the file name basically of that image. So. If those are not well named, I would just take, use the without titles and then manually add them. That way, if you overlook one, at least it won't have a weird file name for a title um, and it'll look a more, little bit more professional. And that's about it. So when you're done with everything, just make sure to hit publish. And remember, if you publish and you mess up everything and you're really upset, you can always use the site history tool in the Wix um, dashboard, which is here, to recover... Um, any previously published versions of your site. So every time you publish, you actually get a little backup of that version. And this site history panel actually will show me each version and I can click on it, view it and say, okay, that's the one that wasn't messed up. I want to go back to that. Um, so remember that publishing is actually a good thing. You'll, you won't lose work that way. So I highly recommend it. And, um, and just always remember to either save or publish your work often so that you don't lose any work.